my entry is going to be a dreamsicle pie. Now here are the rules. I want you to participate too. This is the announcement. Don't forget it. I want you to participate. Men and women, you can both cook. My son cooks. All of my sons cooked. And they were men's men. <laughs> so men, join up. All you'll need to do is do hashtag cool summer dessert. Hashtag Gail Southern Living. Hashtag Yogi Hollow Farms. Hashtag Granny Moreno. And in, in your video, mention us. Mention all three of our names and your title. And show us how you create your cool summer dessert with no baking or whatever you want to do, but as long as it's a cool summer dessert. And then let one of us know. Let Gail or Yogi or myself know, and we will add you to our playlist. Well, let's get on with it. Now, turn it down so you can see what I'm doing. In my bowl, I have an eight ounce pack of cream cheese. And then I'm going to pour in eight ounces of jello. Now there's some rel uh, recipes that actually you mix the jello with water and ice cubes. Well, I'm not doing that one. I'm doing this one because it's easier for Granny to do it. Mix that cream cheese and that jello together. I'm going to add one tablespoon of some good water, natural orange juice. You can use whatever brand you want, but I like that good old soy natural stuff. Right now, my mouth is watering just thinking about how good this is going to be. I'm going to have to shut up for a while. I think it's so cold in my house, it's not going to need to set up for very long. Break the side. Let it all down. Oops. Hit the wrong button there, didn't I? Okay. Here we go again. Whip it up. Don't make a mess. Whip it up. Not getting pretty. tub of Cool Whip. Let's get it all in there. The whole thing. Just dump it in. This is going to be a good pie. I've never tasted it. <laughs> I just saw the picture and thought it looked good and I remembered those dreamsicle ice creams that my grandmother used to give us in the summertime. Mix it up good. Did your grandmother give the ice cream and cool desserts in the summer? Oh, my grandmother did. She was one of the best cooks in the little town that I came from. Everybody knew my grandmother. She loved to cook. They didn't mind hanging around waiting for her to feed it to them either. <laughs> so now it's looking a little bit more, more creamy. Can you see the true color there? I can see it. I know it's good. Let me mix it up a little bit with this spoon. Yes. Oh yeah. Now to get it off the beaters. Did you ever hang around in Grandma's kitchen when you lick the beauty? Yep. My children used to hang around the kitchen waiting to lick the beaters when I was cooking when they were little. Mm. 
this is an orange dreamsicle cream pie. Ooh, Lord, it's looking good. And it's smelling good. Now, you need a graham cracker crust. You can either make your own graham cracker crust, or you can go to the store and buy one. I chose to buy one. I'm going to put my filling in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep. This is looking good. I don't know if it's going to wait till tonight's dessert. I might get me a bite of this really shortly here. Now you're supposed to let this cool in the refrigerator for two to six hours, depending on how long it takes to firm up. But I'm telling you, this looks pretty firm. Put a little water on my spatula here. Sometimes that'll make it smooth in there better. Now that might be why you want to buy, buy or make your own graham cracker crust. This one seems to be breaking up a little bit. Hmm. Well, we will just see about that, won't we? Mm hmm Hmm. Now, does it taste good like Dreamsicle ice cream used to be? Oh, yeah. This is so delicious. 